I'm gonna compare distilled water with tap water. I'm gonna take this and fill it up with tap water from the sink. And we're gonna look at, as we add acid to the two samples of water, how quickly they change pH. We're gonna try and get about the same amount in both. And you'll notice that they're already a little bit different color in pH. This one's a little more acidic than this one is. We're gonna go ahead and set a spinning around the bottom there. So we get that uniformly mixed, and same thing over here. So we have our distilled water here, our tap water here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a dilute acid solution to each, little by little. So first I'm gonna add a milliliter to the tap water. And then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna add a milliliter of hydrochloric acid to the distilled water. So you should know the distinction here that the tap water is much better prepared to buffer or resist the change in pH of the hydrochloric acid as the distilled water is. In fact, this one is really kind of almost permanently changing to orange now from that initial yellow color. Uh, we're gonna add another milliliter each. So again, we see a quick glance of, of red and it quickly fades away and we're still kind of at the same green color. Whereas in the distilled water, now we're definitely into an orange color and we're kind of red at the top. And so we're changing pH units a milliliter at a time here, and yet for some reason this one is lingering a little bit more. And so here we're in Michigan, and in Michigan we have the Great Lakes and the Great Lakes often come with limestone in their beds, and so our tap water has limestone in it. And that limestone is carbonate, which is a, which is a base, and it's actually the same uh, substance that you use to buffer your blood to keep your blood at a constant pH to keep you healthy, They're present in our tap water. And so we can continually add, add, and add hydrochloric acid to this, and we see that it resists that change of pH really nicely. We still, even though I've probably added a good 10 milliliters of this, really not gotten to a point where we can even approach 2 milliliters in the distilled water. We're going to go ahead and add another milliliter over here. This will be milliliter number 3 for the distilled water. And on my angle, this is kind of a dark orange, approaching red at the top, and very orange at the bottom. We'll do one more, and this should hopefully take it over to red, as long as that mixes well. Whereas over here, we've added over 10 milliliters, and we're still at a green. Now, it looks like it's shifted a little bit more yellow than blue, so we are changing pH, but it's taking some time to get there, and it's taking some acid to get there. So we're going to speed this up, just to show that it will eventually change. We're adding about two, two and a half milliliters at a time now. So now I can see a yellow color, but it's kind of green at the bottom, so it's not fully mixed. We are getting to that point where we change. I started with about 80 milliliters here, so we've added about 40 milliliters of acid.
acid we're adding here is about 0.01 molar, so about the concentration of stomach acid. So it looks like we've run out. So at this point we've added significantly more to the tap water, but you can see that the color here is still more acidic. So we've got a yellow color down here and maybe an orange in here, and as it's blending we're getting a yellow-orange. But over here we're at the red. So we can take 0.1 molar and add a little bit of that now, and that should speed it up. Add a milliliter of 0.1 molar over here. It's 10 times as much acid. Milliliter over here. Let's go ahead and just kind of go crazy here and get some 0.1 molar in there. We can now see that color starting to come out. Significant quantity later. So depending on where you live, your tap water won't necessarily do this as much. Uh, you'll likely see some of it, but, but here in Michigan we have, like I said earlier, a lot of limestone present that, that buffers our tap water uh, so that it can resist changes in pH from acid being added.